Braden Soprano here for 97.3 The Fan. We're here at the third home game of the San Diego Fleet doing our fan on the street, talking to so many people in the parking lot. This week, we decided to ask people what their favorite memory is coming to the stadium here in Mission Valley. Uh, Mike Cosgrove, and that's a loaded question because I'm retired Navy, but I've lived here in San Diego for the last uh, 12 years. Since I'm Stacy. I'm from San Diego area. Uh, Mike Girardi from San Marcos, California. My name is Sam Cervantes, and I'm from East San Diego. Cool. My name's Ian. I'm, I'm originally from Utah, but I've been in, in uh, San Diego for the last four years or so. Matt Sopranet to my right here will introduce. So who, who do we got here? Um, we have Matthew Bryant, Riggs Herrera. Harrison Moore, Trevor Ray, AJ Nagma, um, Chase Lindgren, and Logan Burzins. I see the Aztec gear, I see the Padre gear. We're here at Qualcomm Stadium, SDCCU Stadium, the Murph. It's been so many different names. Uh, people have so many great memories about this place. What is your favorite memory of attending event here at this site in Mission Valley? Favorite memory was the 1984 World Series. I can say I'm one of the only fans that have been to the Padres win in the World Series. Just having a good time with the family, and my son played here too. He played, played football for but high school. It was the high school's uh, finals, you know. I, I went to the game where uh, Steve Garvey hit the home run. I was here. I don't remember much of it, but I was here. <laughs> my dad took me to my first football game here, and uh, it was a great experience, even though it was a Chargers game, but it was still fun. Probably 1998 with Caminetti, the Padres, all of them. We probably went to every most home games and that was that's my best memory the Darren Sproles overtime win against the Colts it was this place was lightning and it was like I, I can't even explain the chemistry the the way the fans were reacting the way San Diego was reacting to that win so uh, uh the very first game here the season opener we uh we were so excited about it. We were amped up. We got, like, food and drinks and everything was ready. And uh, it was super rainy that day. And so we're out here. We're all huddled underneath one of those, like, shade things, like, just covering up from the rain. And we're all, like, huddled together, like, oh, man, I'm, like, I'm having a great time. Are you having a great time? Like, oh, yeah, we're all having a really great time. And it ended up being a really fun, like, moment, like, something we're, we're going to remember forever, for sure. The stadium is, means a lot of things to a lot of people. It, Will it be a, a happy day for you or a sad day for you when this place, you know, finally gets torn down for the new San Diego State Stadium? Uh, it will be a sad day. Six, to be honest. Super sad for sure, but the city needs a new stadium. It's going to be kind of mixed, you know. Um, sad to see the stadium go, but happy to see the Aztec get their own home and uh, see a new change in development here. It's going to be exciting. It's sad. This is, this is a great-looking stadium. It, it looks nice. Inside, it, looks, it needs a facelift, but... But uh, on the outside, it's beautiful. Well, there you have it. So many great memories here in Mission Valley by so many people that we talked to about SDCCU Stadium. But we want to hear from you. What is your favorite memory here in Mission Valley? Comment below. Be sure to check out all of our other Fan on the Street videos on social media at 97.3 The Fan SD or at 97.3 The Fan SD.com. So for 97.3 The Fan, I'm Braden Soprano.